and welcome to the 2016 American History Wax Museum. Go. My name is Pocahontas. I'm a Powhatan Native American woman. I was born around 1595. I am known for my involvement in the English colonial settlement of Jamestown, Virginia. I saved the life of John Smith by placing my head on his own of the moment of his execution. I later married a colonist, changed my name to Rebecca Rolfe. Unfortunately, I died in 1617. When I died, there was no longer peace between the Powhatan Indians and the English colonists. Hi, my name is Guanto. My Native American name was Tesquantum. I was born 1580 near Plymouth, Massachusetts. One day I was took, taken as a prisoner, sold as a slave until I escaped and returned to North America. I best remain for say, serving an interpreter, a guide for the pilgrims, settlers at Plymouth in the 1620s. I died for of a fever in November 1622. Hi, my name is Betsy Ross. I was born in I was born in 17 I was born in 1752 and I had 7 daughters and 16 siblings. In the year 1776, George Washington came to my door and asked if I could sell the first American flag. The flag had 13 stripes and stars to represent the 13 original colonies. I, I invented the five-pointed star. This was a very big achievement for me in my life. I soon, in, in 1836, I passed away. Hi, my name is Pocahontas. I was born around 1595, and I was important to American history because I saved John Smith. I died at 1617. Hello, my name is Benjamin Franklin and I was born in 1706. And in 1730, I got married to Deborah Reed. And in, when I was alive, I've done many things like help Thomas Jefferson with the Declaration of Independence. In 1717, I invented the first kind of flippers, as you can see right here. In the 1752, I did my famous can kite experiment to prove that electricity is enlightening. And after a long life, I died in 1790. Hi, I'm Betsy Ross. I was born Elizabeth Griscom on January 1st, 1752 in Philadelphia. I grew up in a Quaker household where I learned to read, write, and of course sew. On November 4th, 1773, I married John Ross. After we married, we continued our upholstery business together. In late May of 1776, George Washington asked me to sew the first American flag for the 13 colonies. On June 14, 1777, the Continental Congress made it the U.S. flag. I died in 1836. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Schuyler Hamilton. I was born in 1757 in Albany, New York. At the age of 22, I met Alexander Hamilton, a soldier of General Washington. We fell in love and got married on December 14, 1780. Later in our marriage, Alexander would be sadly shot and killed in a duel. Now widowed, I proudly defended Alexander against critics on behalf of him writing George Washington's farewell address. Additionally, I helped raise funds for the Washington Monument and lived another 50 years after my husband's death. I sadly died on November 9, 1854. My story is still being told in the recent Broadway musical Hamilton. Thank you for listening to my presentation and have a wonderful evening. Hello, my name is Harriet Tubman. I was born in the 1820s in Dorchester County, Maryland. My birth name is Arminta Ross. I married a free black man with the name of John Tubman. That's when I took my mother's name, Harriet, and that's when I became Harriet Tubman. I led hundreds of slaves 
to freedom along the Underground Railroad for 10 years. I later became a leader in the abolitionist movement and during the Civil War I was a spy for the Federal Forces in South Carolina as well as a nurse. I died March 10, 1913 in Auburn, New York of pneumonia. Theodore Roosevelt was the 26th President of the United States from 1901 to 1909. During his presidency, he regulated corporate monopolies, protected 230 million acres of national forests, bird reservations, national parks, and monuments. Under the Sherman Antitrust Act, he, he broke apart the Northern Securities Company, laying the groundwork for a square deal policy for, to regulate business and protect the consumer. Under Theodore Roosevelt was the first president to win the Nobel Peace Prize for negotiating the ends of the Russo-Japanese War and building the Panama Canal. During his tenure as president, Teddy Roosevelt spoke softly but carried a big stick. Hi, I'm Claire Byrne. I was born on December 25, 1821 in Oxford, Massachusetts. I lived with my mom and dad and four older siblings. I am most known for starting the American Red Cross on May 21, 1881 at the age of 60. I led the Red Cross for 23 years before I ever retired. Before founding the American Red Cross, I was a teacher. I worked in the U.S. Penn office and was a nurse during the Civil War. Sadly, I died on April 12, 1912 in Glen Echo, Maryland at the age of 91. Hi, my name is Jane Adams, and I was the first American woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. I was born in Cedarville, Illinois, September 6, 1860. I was the eighth of nine children. My father served for 16 years as a state senator. In 1889, I decided to buy a house in Chicago, Illinois, with my friend Ellen Gates Starr. You may know it as the Hall House. I am standing in front of it as we speak. The house offered many working women daycare for their children, libraries, classes, and help finding employment. Many of the women who came to the Hall House went on to make very important contributions to society. I helped found the Women's Peace Party and the American Civil Liberties Union. In 1931, I was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. People have called me the premier female figure of my era. Hi, my name is Clara Barton. I was born December 25th in 1821. I was the youngest of five kids. When I was 11, my brother got really sick, so I never left his side for a long time doctoring him. My mother only cared for women's rights and slavery. I was forced to teach summer school, and I learned to love teaching. Then I opened up a free school for the poor in New Jersey. I was asked to teach in the rural school year, but I wouldn't be its principal, so I said no. After that, I helped women's rights, and I lost my voice, so I moved to Europe. There, I learned about the International Red Cross. I liked the idea, so... I, when I got back to America, I established the American Red Cross in 1881. I resigned in 1904 at the age of 84. Sadly, I died in 1912 at the age of 90. We are, are the, the right, right brothers. brothers. This bike job sure makes me thirsty. Well, you should go and get it yourself. We had started a right cycle company. We also had a bike. That was worth 18 bucks. We called it the right type of special. <laughs> hey, give me that wrench. We never saw him when we were born. Oh, well, I was born August 19, uh, 19, 1970. Sorry. Wait, can I restart? Uh, Just start from right here and I'll fix it. Okay. 1871. And in Dayton, Ohio. Well, I was born April 16, 1867. We had made first fighters, but those crashed. Kaboom! We also kept trying for the second time. We adjusted its wings to move up and down. Like a bird. But it crashed and burned. Kaboom! Wow. But we did not stop there. We thought it was time to make an actual machine. We gave it all it got, all we had. And we never told them about our sister, right? We can see that later, but in order to use it, you had to, 
You had to land the lower wing. I flew through second. Well, our sister Catherine was uh, born in 1874 through 1929. She sure had a good run in life, of course. Orville, Orville died in 1948. Wow. Will your dad took more fever in 1912. Hello, I'm Charles Torreya. And I'm Jay Frank Torreya. And we're the Torreya Brothers. In 1886, I went to the Ohio State Fair. There I saw a stationary gas engine. I knew it could be used to do amazing things. So I went home to share my ideas with my brother. By 1893, we had designed and built the very first gas engine, a oh, mo uh, motor car. In 1896, we had, we had opened our company. We sold 13 cars out of our first year of business. Sadly, there's not enough demand for the cars to keep us in business. But our car inspired other ventures and builders that followed after us, such as Henry Ford. Well, we gotta get back to work. Goodbye. Hello, my name is Albert Einstein. I was born on March 14, 1879, in Germany. I am best known for develop for um, my mass energy equivalence formula E equals MC squared, which is known as the world's most famous equation. In 1921, I received the Nobel Prize in Physics, and I visited the United States in 1933 when Adolf Hitler came to power. And being Jewish, I didn't, I didn't want to go back there. I settled in the U.S. and became an American citizen in 1940, but I sadly died in 1955. Hello, my name is Henry Ford. I was born on July 30th, 1863 in Dearborn, Michigan. And I also died on April 7th, 1947 in my home in Ferry Lane, Michigan. I, I'm the founder of the Ford Motor Company. I, I, bu I built my first gasoline-powered horseless carriage, the Quadricycle. I also built the Model T in 1908. As a result, I sold millions of cars and became the world's famous top company. Hi, my name is Forrest Mars. I grew up in Minnesota and was raised in Canada. After high school, I entered California at Berkeley. I later transferred to Yale University and completed a degree in industrial engineering. I met and partnered with Bruce Murray, and together we created M&Ms. The candy covered in a crunchy shell that melts in your mouth, not in your hands. They are modeled after a candy we saw soldiers eating during the Spanish Civil War. We patented the technique and sold them exclusively to the military for the soldiers to eat during World War II. They were included in all their rations because they were the only candy that did not melt in the heat. After the war, the soldiers were hooked on the colorful candies and the rest is history. Hi, my name is Julia Gordon Lowe and my nickname is Daisy. I was born in Savannah, Georgia on Halloween or October 31st, 1860, right when the Civil War started. I am the second out of six children. I married William McKay Lowe in 1886, but sadly he died in 1905. In 1912, I met Sir Robert Baden Powell, who created Boy Scouts. I was so excited that I called my cousin and told her to come right over. I've got something for the girls of Savannah and all of America and all of the world, and we're gonna start it tonight. The first two troops had 18 members. The girls played sports, went camping, and learned to do things for themselves at a time when women haven't even earned the right to vote. I wanted to create an organization that would teach girls to be leaders and to meet the world with courage, confidence, and character. Today there are nearly 3 million Girl Scouts in 92 countries and there are 59 million women who have... Hello, my name is William Bowen. When I was 28 and already a successful businessman, I saw a man flying machine for the first time and I found my passion. So I bought a plane, learned how to fly it, but then I broke it. It would take months for new for replacement parts to come in, so I decided to make my own plane. So, so I said to my friend, Commander George Westervelt of the, United, of the United States Navy, that we can build a better plane and build it faster. So we did. Now Boeing is the biggest aerospace company in the world. We are not just leaders in aircraft, we also pioneer in space as well. Find out more. Check out the board behind me. Thank you for stopping by. Hi, I am Rosie Ray.
Scrivener. I represent millions of women in the World War II era. era. They changed from working women in factories. They changed from housewives to working women in the factories. Before the war, my duties were cooking, cleaning, and taking care of children. The men went to war. Now the women were needed in workplace. By doing this, women now had more rights in the work field. We can do it. Hi, my name is Martin Luther King Jr. I was born in 1929 in Georgia. I I made Chris Scott on June 18, 19, 1953. I had four children. I I was a minister, actress, and leader in the African American Civil Rights Move, Civil Rights Movement. I also ha helped organize the 19, 1963 March on Washington, where, where I delivered my famous speech. I have a dream on. On October on October 14, 1964, I I received the Nobel Peace Prize. I died on I died on April 4, 1968, after I was shot. I am Audie Murphy. I was the most decorated soldier in World War II. I was born in June 20th, 1925, into a large sharecropper family in Hunt County, Texas. My father abandoned me and my family, and my mother died when I was a teenager. When World War II happened, I enlisted in the Navy and in the Marine Corps. I received an assignment to 3rd Platoon, Baker Company 1st Battle Line, 15th Infantry Regiment. 3rd Infantry Division in Casablanca, Morocco. I earned these medals by leading a night patrol that was ambushed, remaining calm. I directed my men and turned back the, the German attack and captured several, several prisoners. While my time at, back, while my time so, in southern France, me and my men encountered a machine gun coup that pretended to surrender and tricked me by shooting my friend. And so I got into a rage and shot the whole German crew and used their guns to shoot all of them. Another time was when I was promoted into a platoon commander, but I only had 19 men and three tanks. A lot of German men and lots of tanks were after us, so I sent all three tanks to go fight against all those tanks. And reinforcements were going to take a while, and all of our tanks were damaged. So I went on one of the crippled tanks machine gun, and I shot everything on sight. This is how we were able to get out of the bad situation that we were in. I am, I earned a lot of medals doing these and doing these, and this is how I became a war hero. After the war was over, I enjoyed being an actor, and I was in a lot of Western films. I died in a plane crash in Virginia in the year 1971. Now I'm remembered as the most decorative soldier. Hi, I'm Amelia Earhart. I was the first person to try and fly around the world, but I crashed into the Pacific Ocean. On January 5th, 1939, I was declared legally dead. Let's see, do I go this way? Do I go the other way? Oh, hi, my name is Amelia Earhart. As a child, I always spent my winters with my grandparents in Atchison. In the, in the summers, I always spent my time with my parents in, in Kansas City. In the winters, my mother and my sister Muriel would often visit me in Atchison. But I rarely got to see my father because he, he worked at a very far away place. In seventh grade, my family and I moved to Des Moines. After a while, I went to a private college there. Like all girls, we had to grow up gentle and ladylike. But I was into adventure. I was also willing to try sports that were, consider that were considered only for adult men. January 19, 21, I began taking flying lessons with Netta Smith. October 22, 1922, I broke the woman's altitude record by flying 14,000 feet in the air. August 1929, I finished third in first woman's air derby. I beat May 20 through 21st, 
1932, I became the first woman to fly across the Atlantic. August 24th through 25th, 1932, I was the first woman to fly to fly. I was the first woman to fly solo, nonstop, coast to coast. June 2nd, 1937, I had my last communication. On January 5th, 1939, I was sadly declared dead, but nobody knows. Only Amelia Earhart knows. I'm just a wax figure. Hi, my name is Henry Ford. I was born in 1863 in Dearborn, Michigan. In 1896, I created the Quadricycle. In 1903, I created the Ford Motor Company. Most people credit me as making the first automobile. The fact is, I didn't. I'm best remembered by revolutionizing the auto factory assembly line in 1913. This new approach really reduced the Ford Model T from 12 hours to just 93 minutes. I began paying my workers $5 a day, which is double the amount than other companies. This allowed my employees to buy Model T's, and by 1918, half the cars in America were Ford Model T's. Are you ready? Can you look? Oh, hi. My name is James Steven Owens. I was born September 12, 1913. In 1922, my, my family moved to Pino, Ohio, where I became Jesse, because the way I said JC in school sounded like Jesse. In 1932, I married Minnie Solomon and attended Ohio State University and East Technical High School. In 1936, I became the first African American to win four gold medals in track and field history. In 1974, I was inducted into a track and field Hall of Fame. Sadly, in 1979, I was diagnosed with lung cancer and died a year later on March 31st in, 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 at age 66. All right, I, I got to go get go with my race. Hi, my name is Jackie Robinson, and I was the and I was born January 31st, 1919. And I was important because I was the first African American to play in a white man's major league baseball team. And I was the youngest of five siblings. And yeah, that's it. Hello, my name is John Francis Dodge, and I was born October 25th, 1864. And my name is Horace Elton Dodge. I was born on May 17th, 1868. Our family was poor. My brother and I worked in our dad's machine shop and learned about mechanics. In 1897, we opened a bicycle shop, and in 1900, we sold it and started making automobile parts. In 1901, we started building engines for old mobile and transmissions to Ford. On November 14, 1914, we produced the first Dodge Model 30. That year, we produced 250 automobiles. The next year, we produced 45,000 automobiles. In 1920, my brother and I traveled to New York for an auto show. We both became sick with the flu and pneumonia. I died, I died January 14, 1920. I died December 10, 1920. Five years after our deaths, our wife sold Dodge Brothers Company to an investment bank. Shortly after that, shortly after that, Chrysler bought Dodge Brothers Company for $170 million. Hi, my name is Michael Brown. I was born June 5, 1956 in Huntsville, Alabama. Some people know me as the guy who killed Pluto because I am the man who discovered that Pluto was no longer a planet. It was a dwarf planet due to its size. Me and my partner just recently founded the newly found planet, Planet 9, that orbits just beyond Pluto. 